Namaste. I'm Master Kamal and here is Crew Jane. And today we're going to do Sun A and Sun B. I'm going to give you uh, variations and also the proper alignment, the way of doing Sun A and Sun B. So let's follow. Try. So please come to the front of the mat here. Yes, wait up. Can I pull the mat a little bit back? So you can, yes. Now here, the first thing you need to do is use the block. Use the block. It's good you have a block. So what you do is you got to place the block in a flat this way, not short, like this and like this. You place the block like this and hold the block and stand tall. And imagine like you're compressing the block. So you engage all the inner, inner muscles, ready? Okay, you placed it. Good. Now, now compress, keep pressing the block and now tailbone pointing down. Yes. And lower abdomen in. Now keep compressing it. Yes. There you go. So you, you keep on holding the block tightly and stand tall. Okay. Now bring your hands down to the side of the body. Now stand tall and both feet balanced. You're not standing on the toes only. You're standing on the heels. You, you just distribute the weight evenly on your feet. Standing tall, long spine, broad shoulders, chest is up, shoulders back down. Standing taller, good. And standing tall, now would like you to raise your arms up as you inhale. Okay, now remember one other thing. Come down, please. The breathing very important, the sound breathing, Ujjayi breathing. So you don't pressure the nose like when you breathe. No, it is not good. You have to breathe through the throat. So imagine, imagine you, you're just in breathing through the throat. So inhale through the nose, but you're breathing, imagine you're breathing here. So you create a sound like this. And Good. So create the sound at the throat. Inhale. Exhale. Stand tall. Open the shoulders. Chest up. Again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Keep pressing the block. Inhale. Tailbone pointing down. Exhale. Now, as you inhale, raise your arms. Inhale. Now, feel half of the body is lifting up, not just the shoulders, not just the shoulders, half of the body. So, from here, you have to feel. Don't just only lift the shoulders, okay? You're like this, only lifting the half body upwards. And half body is totally firm, balanced on the ground. Now, from here, you bend from the hips, always bend from the hips and lean forward. You can e bend your knees first if you find difficult to reach the ground, okay? You bend your knees like this and you step and head down. Good, this is the full front bend, okay? So, once you finish this, now come up to half front bend. You place your fingers like this, like that and lengthen up the spine. Good, like this, okay? So long body. Now what you do is, uh, you have a block. So there are two ways to go backwards. So you walk toe like that. Yes, and come to the plank. That's the easiest way. Let's do the other one later, okay? <laughs> okay, now tight up and wait evenly on the hands and the toes. Now go back some more, walk back some more. Walk back, walk back, walk back, some more, some more, some more. That's it. Now here, you keep that like this and round the, ah, there you go. And push the floor, push the floor, push with your palms, like that. So creating a hollow body posture. So it is very, very good. Now from here, your al by the way, when you stay in the plank, your, your bicep should point forward, okay? Not like this, okay? The bicep facing front. That's the way. Now, from there, you bend your elbows towards your body and go down Chaturanga. In the beginning, you might want to drop the body. That is fine. If you can, you hold this way and lie down. Good. Now, 
slowly come to up dog now keep the block don't lose the block hold the block and on the toes resting the toes yes now when you come to up dog posture you lengthen up the spine and shoulders should be away from your ears away lengthening up and up long body and hold the block active toes and now come to downward facing dog downward facing dog is very very good it improves blood circulation to the brain and it corrects hunch back round shoulders it's very very good for the heart and it actually exercises a lot of uh, internal organs okay it releases gravitational stress so you stay in this pose and by the way first timers may find it difficult then what you do you bend your knees slightly and make sure your chest is towards your thighs and not forward like this not like this it should be towards the thighs long but longer and try to relax the neck and face good and open the shoulders away from each other not closing and now press palms keep that now you walk on the tippy toes walk little steps one two three that's it keep coming forward and if you can keep the leg straight that's fine long spine and front bend breathe out if you cannot keep your leg straight that's okay you bend your knees and you hold the block tightly so you engage the inner thigh muscles right jen you feel the inner thigh muscles right good and big inhalation up inhale raise arms up and exhale keep that sound okay we do little quickly the second one ready now create the sound when you breathe in and out this is a very powerful breathing by the way is good to clear excess phlegm it is also very good to uh, relieve many problems like sleep apnea snoring so keep try this one okay whenever you do postures use this breathing okay begin here from the hips exhale all the way down to front bend and place your hands like this side now half front bend breathe in you can stay on five finger or if you can't reach you can place the hands on the knees like this lengthening the very important is you want to get the back straight okay and weight even on the legs okay now you can walk on tippy toes tuck 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 go back one two three don't drop the block and come to plank 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 go back to plank more 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 and shift very good and round back push my hand here yes that's the way now bicep can you show it to the front yes there you go that's the way and now elbows close to your body go down chaturanga or drop your body down to the ground good and up dog inhale open the shoulders away from your ears and also chest front push your chest front lifting upwards this lengthens the spine also stretches your abs and downward facing dog exhale now stay here for five breaths one open the shoulders relax neck face two see the major part of the lungs are here at the back so when you do this posture you really improve strength in the lungs create more space and help oxygenate the cells good now tip it over walk walk 1 2 3 4 5 good and you can front front bend breathe out good and then inhale raise arms all the way up and breathe out okay another way we do is jumping to the plank okay inhale exhale front bend half front bend inhale now you you have to hold the block and jump plank yes don't drop the block good now push the floor now hold it hold it hold it hold it now we're going to do a little variation here all right biceps showing front now go down now i would like you to lift your legs off the ground but don't lo lose the block and look up lengthening 1 2 3 4 Five. Okay, downward facing. Oh. Okay, five breaths here. Four. Three. Two. One. Now the same way you jump forward. 
folded block in between your legs good looking front half front bend front bend and inhale all the way up and samasthiti good two more we do okay inhale exhale full front bend half front bend inhale now bend your knee slightly and jump back plank good push the floor down chaturanga good and drop your body legs up and hands this is shalabhasana your hands want to be like this also fine very very good to strengthen the whole back and hold the block make sure you're holding the block don't lose the block and come to downward facing dog exhale good five breathe open the shoulders neck relax lengthen the spine press the heels down press the heels down hips going up and up good and now bend your knees please uh, heels off the ground jump lightly yes look front half front bend front bend now and inhale raise your arms up and relax good now you can take the block now we do without the block feet together samasthi one okay open the shoulders chest up very important okay now lengthening you have to balance it front side forward back you're balancing very well when you stand in this pose okay that's why it's called samasthi standing still okay big inhale exhale front bend half front bend bend your knees a uh, step back or walk or jump okay and go down chaturanga good up dog inhale open the shoulders push your chest forward act to toenails you can also lift your knees by time you don't touch the knees okay and downward facing dog okay two breaths third one four one more five now first heels up knees bend and jump forward looking front and front bend full front bend and inhale raise your arms good and samasthiti good now can you come to downward facing dog so here let me show you something when i ask you to lift your heels up what happens many people uh lift the heels up but the weight will shift to the front body like this you don't do that lift your heels please uh, like this they do like that no forward no show the wrong angle like this this is not good so what you do you have to keep this part holding firm okay broad shoulders open relaxing neck now only lift the heels up without disturbing the front don't move the body front you just keep it there only lift the heels up now please place it down heels down try again heels up that's the way okay and down this is the way you do it okay heels up now knees bend and jump lightly looking front half front bend full front bend good and inhale raise up so and exhale good there you go now we do now we going to do <laughs> sun b okay sun b also i see many people even i see some of the Uh, yoga masters they uh, they do very wrong way they hurt the knees you know if you do that let's say when they sit in utkatasan they the knees come over the toes and if it if it is like this by time you're going to tear your joints you can hurt your knees you have to be very careful when you do the utkatasan it's not a, a simple posture but you should learn with perfection okay what do you do place feet together stand samasthiti again chest up open the shoulders okay shoulders open the chest shoulders down long spine and make sure you're perfectly balanced okay centered not on the left not on the right not front not back perfectly balanced this is this we call zero resistance you have to come to the state of zero resistance perfectly balancing okay now what do you do place your hands on the hips now let's practice first how to properly sit in utkatasana without hurting the knees now hinge from the hip and 
look at your feet you should be able to see your feet bend your knees now hinge from the hip bend your knees now if you cannot see the feet that means you are already over stressed the knees like that okay now once you see the knees you don't need to look at them anymore because if you look at them you might put pull stress put stress in the neck so look front that's it long neck now also you engage your abdomen you got to lift up okay not collapsing on your thighs you have to control the entire pelvic area now then you stretch your arms overhead there you go and your biceps are close to the ears and long spine you no need to arch okay you don't round your back you keep it straight so this is the way you do utkatasan now from here you come to full front bend fall to full front bend breathe out good half front bend now step back oh. right leg then left leg biceps when you stay in the this pose your biceps show forward to the front okay now chaturanga breathe out big inhale up dog breathe in open the shoulders push your chest front lifting the spine up and active toe nails also all the toes all the five toes should be active and the knees slightly off the ground if you can and but if you feel any pain in the back you better low down to cobra that's a safer way you should not hurt your body because here yoga is about relieving pains and problems but you don't cause pains by doing yoga okay okay now come to downward facing dog Yes now here first thing how to step your right leg forward to warrior the first thing is your legs are like this right okay now you turn the left feet in towards the right like this more more turn yes and then you bend and place in between your arms you bring it back fit yes now wait here now square your hips very important and keep your knee and heel in line okay now the very thing i always like people to do is to use the gluteus maximus muscles when you do warrior so it strengthens from the hips now swing your arms up like that and palms together good now another mistake many people do is they collapse like a pigeon chest they do this way no you no need pigeon chest you got to get straight uh, and square your hips control the lower ab and keep that left leg pressing into the ground especially the little toe pressing in as and the heel of your left is pressing if you if you bend your knee sorry can you jane bend your knee please yeah like this you can stress the knee joint by time you can tear the knee so don't do that you got to put the weight totally here at the heel you should feel heel toe the little toe okay square body good and place your hands down remember your biceps showing front leg back plank again go chaturanga breathe out or if you cannot do chaturanga you can lie down up dog open the shoulders active toe nails good down dog good now same way you got to turn the right feet in and left leg forward yes and remember make your knee pointing straight your left knee pointing front okay and hands by the side of the body like that and check your hip by the way your hip don't push it out like this you got to keep it in line and big inhale and exhale chaturanga go down and up dog inhale open the shoulders down dog exhale now take five breaths one open the shoulders relax neck two three four five now remember like i mentioned to you when you do sun a also when you lift your heels up your body stay here don't move it front okay heels now knees bend heels up knees bend jump lightly or step forward now forward fold forward bend and good bend your knees now and come make sure your knees are not over your toes you know that open it and stand samastiti there you go okay 
So like this, you do five rounds or at least three rounds are good for a good uh, uh, producing heat and energy in your body and warming up all the muscles. So, now sun B variation. Try this. Okay. So stand first tall, open the chest. Now prepare your Ujjayi breathing. Chest coming upwards, shoulders back. Open the shoulders. Good. Now prepare yourself. Now, as I mentioned to you, place your hands on the hip. Utkatasana. Bend from hinge from the hips, then your knees next. And look at the toes. Able to see the toes, then you no need to look at them and stay. Now you can go a little low for a little challenge. The, the more your hip go down, the more challenge it is. And breathe out to full front bend. Half front bend. Jump or step back into plank, chaturanga. Up dog inhale. Good, down dog exhale. Now, right leg. So first left turn in, then right leg in, in between arms. And hands by the side, square your hips. Make sure your knee and heel in line. Now use your lower back muscles, the erector spinae. Inhale, raise your arms up. Very, very good pose for all. the shoulders, rhomboids. And now wait here. Now we're going to do add another posture where you're going to into warrior three, Virbhadrasana three. Now slowly lift the heel, and then easy is keeping the hands by the side. So very important is you square your hips okay and keep the hands like that or in the front it's up to you now slowly get back to warrior one inhale and chaturanga extra go down inhale up dog okay downward facing dog exhale now turn your right feet in left to the front into great warrior hands by the side first close to your butt now big inhale lift up very nice now from here you come to virabhadrasana three and hands by the side and remember to square your hips very important not leaning that side and keep your knee straight the bottom leg straight so give a deep stretch in the calf muscles in the hamstrings and now big inhale go back to warrior one and chaturanga exhale and all the way go down and lie down on your stomach now grab your ankles and give me the bow pose so this is the way you straight now in, when you do this bow posture by the way it's very very good for people who have back pain shoulder stiffness all will go away doing this and it's also good for digestion, improving digestion and elimination. Push the legs into the hands. That's the way you practice. Now here the technique is, when you inhale, you lift your chest up. When you exhale, your legs up. Yes. Again, inhale, chest up. Exhale, legs up. This is the way you can practice. And you will notice your body stretching. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, legs up. Again, inhale, chest up. Exhale, legs up. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Okay, place them downward facing dog now. Breathe out. Good. Now, as I mentioned to you, stay there five breaths. Open the shoulders. Don't sh shrink the shoulders. You're going to hurt your shoulders by time because you're stressing so much of the muscles here. So you got to open them away from each other and relaxing the neck and face when you do this. And arms are long. You got to feel the stretch from the little little finger all the way to the hip from the side. So don't only think of the middle section stretching. You should think of the side body stretch as well. And pressing the heels into the ground. Now what you do? Don't disturb the upper part. You keep this way. Lift your yes heels off the ground. Now knees bend. Jump or step forward. 
looking front half front bend front bend now full front bend and utkatasana again remember your knees are not over your toes and stand samasthi there you go so like this you can do another three or five rounds try that you're gonna love it namaste